my trainer, uh, Travis. We we get, we got a good program together. Um, but we're trying to cut uh, body fat and add muscle. Uh, get back to doing a lot more explosive lifts. Uh, Cause I knew this year I wasn't gonna have to be as heavy as I've been in the past. Uh, just playing like a kind of different style of uh, D line this year, uh, different mindset I want to say. So um, just got to doing a lot of explosive lifts, uh, things you know, getting my legs and glutes back strong, uh, uh, just cutting fat. And <laughs> being uh, being in Louisiana, like it's so hot down here, it was easy to lose weight. So uh, that's pretty really what my offseason. What is the number real? Has this style been for you? Because you know these guys are talking about how how versatile you've been and how how useful you've been. Um, my my dad always told me, um, you might not always be the most valued person in the room, but you always be the most valuable person in the room, and that's something that's really stuck with me just throughout playing football, just being able to play multiple positions and being able to do more. Uh, Cam always say the more you could do, and that's something that sticks with me. I'm able to play. Uh, nose guard and I'm also able to play uh, D tackle. So being able to play those two positions is totally, two totally different things. But uh, me learning that at an early uh, stage of my career, how to play the nose guard position, but also just having a natural ability to play uh, three tech is something that uh, I think is uh, taking me a long way. And uh, to be honest, like kept me around here for a little while. Hey man, I like you're having a lot, a lot of fun this year. You yeah. always have fun. Uh, is this year even more fun for you? Just uh, yeah. Like, well, to be honest, I always have fun, yeah, because I know you can't have fun and be good at this game. Uh, can't not have fun, I want to say, and play this game at a high level. Uh, but, yeah, man, just the more plays you make, the more fun it comes. Uh, the more comfortable you get, the more fun it is. The more your role grows on the team. Uh, I remember coming here undrafted, free agent, you know, not knowing what was going on. You know, still having that feeling sometimes, and that's what keeps me going. But I, may, I always told myself uh, I'm going to have fun every day I'm in this building. I'm also going to work work my tail off. But in doing this, I know I'm enjoy every moment I'm in here because uh, tomorrow not from is in this league. And you know, I learned that at an early age, at an early um, at an early start in this league, tomorrow is not promised. So I'm uh, going hard and, you know, making the most every day while I'm here and just having fun, enjoying it. And, um, like who wouldn't have fun like uh, get to play football for a living, you know, so um, I'm just, I love what I do. <laughs> no, I think against the Chiefs, you said you take make a tackle 15, 16 yards downfield. Is that something you take pride in, just that motor? Um, yeah, yeah, um, running running down the field, yes, because that's where the big hits come from. And I like to say as a defensive tackle, uh, nose guard, that's what we steal about, you know, 15 tackles on the season. You could steal, let's just add it, more tackles like that. But that's where big players come from. I wish I could have got the ball out on that play. You didn't see me coming from behind them. But um, if you just look at my film throughout the years, I always, even with my rookie year when I didn't really know how to play the position, I always knew I knew how to run fast and I could make plays down the field and just get effort and go hard. And, you know, I found my niche in doing that. And that's just something that's um, become part of my nature when I play the game and uh, just giving all out effort. You know, the more hats we have on the ball, the more successful we could be and stopping the team from scoring or gaining yards. So, uh, Running down the field, trying to create those takeaways and, you know, deliver big hits to those skilled players, you know, uh, just put it on their mind, you know, when they come across the middle or, you know, you know, cutting back and things like that. It's something to think about. What's, What's it been what? like playing with Kyle Saunders? Oh, <laughs> man, Bink. Uh, Bink is great. Uh, he brings a, a juice, an energy. Um, I wouldn't say we had the same personality, but just uh, we know when to lock in and go to work. We know like how to have fun with this. Uh, me learning from him, these guys won two Super Bowls. Uh, he's bringing the experience that you know we never really had. Uh, where well, we had Malcolm Brown, uh, my rookie, but we never really had this kind of uh, you know a person that uh, you know won two Super Bowls. You know, in a while since I've been here to our room, so he knows what it's like to play in the cold and things like that. You know, play when it when when it's when it's really when it really matters. I want to say so. He's bringing the experience to us that we need. Uh, but I'm also, you know, uh, trying to get him different advice on techniques and things like that, how we can play blocks together. You know, he's in at the one, I'm in at the three. You know, we can play this run front like this. I play more thick on this block so he can scrape over the top and vice versa. So uh, we coming together gelling good. I think last game we really got the first taste of, uh, you know, us out there um, and rolling with that D-line with uh, me at the three and him at the one. So it was something that uh, we really liked a lot. And uh, we controlled the run game, I feel like, pretty good in doing that. What? Is it kind of unique with him being a veteran that came from another team 
the way he kind of came right in a way and like embraced a leadership role instead of like sticking his toe in the water, seeing where he fit in. Like it seems like he wa wants to be a leader. On this team. Uh, I feel like he just came in. Um, I have to say, uh, as much as he came in and you know just as himself and you know. Um, we accepted him, I want to say, uh, just come in and being himself. And, you know, every personality was able to come together and, you know, mesh good in that. Uh, it wasn't somebody that came in and, you know, tried to take over the room. Uh, he came in and, you know, just, you know, talked through things. And, you know, we listened and uh, we talked him through things. And, you know, as much as he's learning, um, as much as he's learning, I'm also learning from him. Uh, you know, I'm able to, you know, tell them different things like, hey, man, this is how we got to run this play in the playbook, things like that, because he, he's still yeah. new here. So uh, I'm able to get him a bit of a, I don't know, I, wouldn't, well, I guess four years now, I guess a little veteran, like, you know, um, you know, secret recipe, and he's also able to give me a you little something to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, for real. Man. For real. What, uh, what is the number, your target weight number, or what you are now? Uh, uh, I've been around, what I want to say, around like 290, three-ish to 300, like in between yeah. that range. Uh, September will be different than August. Huh? <laughs> I said September might be different than August uh, because of that heat. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Uh, but um, it's not even really about keeping what well, the weight is always, my weight has always, you know, pretty much been the same where I've always been able to gain weight and things like that. It's just keeping the explosiveness, I want to say, uh, staying in the weight room, uh, staying on this regiment that I've been on, eating right. Um, I want to say my family, uh, my girlfriend has done a lot in helping me in that situation, eating right, uh, making sure I'm coming home, cook meals and things like that. So that's been a plus for me. And uh, just growing up, I want to say my body's growing up, mentally I'm growing up. And uh, just, you know, each and every day I'm becoming a better pro, I want to say. You feel like this is your best self now? Hmm? Probably with everything combined, you feel like this is probably the best version of yourself? As um, a yeah, since I've been in the league, I feel like I'm coming to my best self mentally, physically, you know. Um, I feel like I'm getting to that point, but uh, it's not even like a point. Like I just feel like I'm like I want to say like I grew up, you know, and experienced life and things like that. Things slowing down for me. Um, the game has slowed down a lot, a real lot. Um, just out there, you know, making plays and uh, being in the backfield, striking blocks, knowing how to react to blocks, and seeing these blocks over the years so many times that you know I kind of know what blocks, how I'm gonna react to it, and you know things like that without thinking about it. And who's the most athletic uh, interior defensive line? Me. Me. <laughs> Me. I know Binko say he played linebacker and stuff. Like, he played linebacker. I think they played the Chiefs, I think. I mean, not uh, the Chargers. The Chiefs played the Chargers. He always shows the highlight. But, man, if you throw my freshman highlights at uh, Texas, man, you see a different beast right there. Like, I might be the best linebacker on the team if I was still at about 250. I give Didi a run for his money for real, like. <laughs> but nah, man, I I embrace this role what I got and uh, bring that athleticism to the D line is some some always something special. So, what's the nickname for Colin? Bink. Bink. Binky. You ever watched the show Arthur? Yes. You remember that Binky? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, he looked just like him. Uh, <laughs> so the first day he came in, he was like, uh, "Call me Bink." I said, "Bink." I said, "All right, I'll call you Bink then." And he told me the backstory behind it and stuff like that. We've been calling him Bink ever since. So that's his nickname. Right. What about, what about your What makes him different from other rookies? Oh, he's humongous. Oh, man, he's just, he's like a big kid. Like, he's a big kid, and the, the, thing, the thing that's scary is that he don't even know how to play the game. Like, he don't, he don't even know he doing it right yet. You get what I'm saying? Like, he just, I tell him, I say, bro, don't even focus on taking some time. Just go run through it and just mess up the play. Because if you start thinking, it, it, if you start thinking, It'll take away from just your God-given ability. You know, he like six five, six six, about three, three fifteen. Um, humongous, cat-like quickness, could jump off the ball. Like he like a a dream-built D lineman. You get what I want to say? Like uh, so, him just being able to jump off the ball that fast, and I say, man, just mess the play up. Just go out there, mess the play up. They can't block you. Just go full speed. And you get tired, we get somebody in there, get some water, go back in there, go full speed. So that's really the only advice I tell them. I say, man, we could focus, after we get done with your rookie year, we could focus on on the offseason, you learning the techniques of, you know, how to play D-line and the positions you need to get your body into. But right now, just go mess up plays and just cause disruption. And that's what he's been doing. But you're still more athletic. Yeah, yeah.
y'all can't tell. Like, y'all can't tell. Like, hey, when, you, when you're cleaning up a tackle down, 20 yards down the field, like, I know you take out, I've seen you take out, like, three, four people. What's, yeah. What's the funniest thing someone's, like, said to you after you? Oh. Uh, like? <laughs> man, I remember we playing the Steelers last year. Um, yeah, we were playing the Steelers. It started snowing a little bit. And, uh, 18, I think that's uh, – the receiver, uh, Deontay, I think it's Deontay Johnson. I hope I don't get his name wrong. But like he likes to jump back a lot. Like he likes to run and jump back, like like he playing in uh at recess or something like that. And like I know I, as soon as he catch the ball, he go try to make he go try to score it basically. So he go jump back. So I'm running to the ball hard. And in my mindset, if I'm running, I'm 300 pounds, I'm running somebody getting hit. Like I'm not running just to run, like uh so somebody getting touched, somebody getting hit and um tiring was making a tackle on him. And I come through and I hit everybody. <laughs> Tyron like, oh man, Roach, man, you done took me. He said, he, he said some other word. And I was like, Tyron, I'm running, somebody getting hit. And um, 18, I just remember 18 was like, oh man, he killed me. I said, yeah, that's what I got to do, man. And um, helped him up, you know, we went back to play, but that probably was one of the funniest ones. Uh, Cause I just, I knew I took out time. I like, I'm like, man, he gonna be so mad at me. Like, but just doing my job and playing hard, I want to say.